Hello everybody. I promised an asana for the next yoga video, but I think that something more important than that are um, the most important books that I've read that have influenced uh, my yoga practice and how I teach. So I wanted to introduce them to you. I have um, quite a few books on yoga, um, meditation, uh, different types of um, body arts, uh, but these are some of the most important. These are not generally philosophical books. Um, that'll be a different a different video. Anyway, these are basically your physical um, physical aspects of, of how I teach the things. Um, the first one that is um, obviously a classic um, is Iyengar's Light on Yoga. He's also got a book called Light on Life that I would also recommend. Um, it's fantastic. I totally recommend it. The next one that I also recommend is this one here, um, Asana Pranayama Mudra Bandha. Um, the Bihai Yoga Group has a lot of uh, publications, and I have a few of their things, but I, I think this is pretty basic, and um, yeah, uh, I'm asked for most yoga libraries. Um, an excellent book that I love for dynamic or Ashtanga Yoga is uh, this one here, the Ashtanga Yoga, the Practice Manual, by David Swenson. Um, I love this book, and um, I love how it's set out. Um, it's pretty informative. It's really all about practice. It has a lot of variation and explains everything pretty basically. T highly recommend it. Um, I also really enjoyed uh, Journey into Power by Baron Baptiste. Um, he tells his complete story up until the time that he wrote. Uh, I find him, a lot of people find him a little bit too challenging, but um, no, I like it. I think it's uh, well worth taking a peek into, and I and I enjoy his sequencing. I like how he puts it for a modern, a modern approach. Okay, on top of those basic yoga books, I like um, to I like this one here. It's called the Complete Classic Pilates Method. Um, generally, in all the yoga classes, I add um, something from Pilates, and I, li I like this book a lot. Um, it's an Australian group, actually. It's just the, it, they, they say that it's um, the original mat work program, and um, it's fantastic if you follow it. It's step by step, and the best that you can probably get without having an, an instructor in front of you. Um, I also really like this book here that's called Yoga Lattes. Um, it's interesting. Uh, it's about a girl who had some troubles in a yoga class and hurt herself. And so she developed um, some different aspects or different ways to do to do yoga in, w with the Pilates method. She goes into a little bit more detail. And um, yeah, I quite like how she's safe and strong. And yeah, she knows what she's talking about. One of the important books that I think has influenced all of my classes is um, this book here called Stretching and Flexibility by Kit Lawlin. He's an Australian guy also, and I love this guy, and I love his book. I totally recommend it for anybody doing any types of sport. Um, it's great. Uh, anything by him, I totally recommend. He really knows what he's talking about, and um, he goes into excellent... Um, Descriptive uh, description about everything, and he there's lots and lots of pictures. He even has a YouTube channel that you can he load uploads different stretches. Uh, he has another very successful book. I think it's called Overcoming Neck and Back Problems. It's um, highly recommended also. So that's my my greatest influences in terms of how I physically teach yoga. Um, yeah. See you next time.